that was, oh, oh, they could have, something. Hey there everyone, this is Jessica from DomesticatingMe.com and today I'm thrilled to share with you the Nike Collaboration Seeker with Tiffany. I am so happy that I was able to get a pair and now I get to share it with you. If you're new to my unboxing videos, the way that I do it is I talk about the item, the collection, what drew me to it, any, important information that I think you should know about. I talk about the shopping experience, then I do the unboxing, and then I come back with my final thoughts. If you haven't seen my previous video, I definitely suggest you watch it. I will link to it here and down in the description box below, but I talk a little bit about the history of Tiffany and why I was very intrigued about this collection. So I'm not gonna go over that history all over again. You can watch that video, it's there. But I do wanna talk a little bit about the collaboration itself between both brands. If you're unaware, Tiffany & Co. has actually designed a lot of awards and trophies in the athletic world. Tiffany has provided trophies for the United States Tennis Association for the NBA, the Lombardi Trophy for the NFL, etc., etc. They have also specifically worked with Nike before on their women's marathon. They designed and provided these beautiful chains as awards for runners. So there's definitely some history there, a partnership that has been long standing, at least for the last several years. So that would make sense. Another reason why this collaboration made sense for me is that at the end of the day, Tiffany & Co. is an iconic New York brand. Now I know they're known worldwide, especially because of Breakfast at Tiffany's, that famous film, but again, it's still very much a New York brand and it has close ties and history to this city. New York also happens to be the birthplace of hip hop and streetwear. The iconoclasts of the New York City hip hop scene were the ones who took athletic apparel outside of the gyms and into the streets of New York and turned them into fashion. They and the generations that follow are in large part the reason why so many brands are successful and some were revived. Just Google Timberland to see. Although Tiffany & Co is famous for their diamond engagement rings and a lot of their beautiful, exquisite, and expensive gem pieces, they're also known for their silver pieces. And that's what makes them a much more accessible brand to the everyday person, much more than Cartier and Van Cleef. And so growing up in New York City, I saw a lot of those silver pieces gifted as birthday presents for sweet 16s, for graduations, etc. And a lot of the times those people were also the ones wearing Nikes in the gym, but also out in the streets as part of their fashion. And so that's why for me, this collaboration is a very New York collaboration and it might not make sense to people outside of New York, even within the United States, but it would certainly make much more sense to someone who grew up in New York City. At least that's my thinking, my hypothesis. I could be totally reaching here, but that that's how I view it. Is it a marketing tactic? Of course. Tiffany has been trying to reach a younger, more trendy consumer uh, for a couple of years now, especially since they've been acquired by LVMH. So it makes sense for them to collaborate with Nike because they know that there are folks out there who are willing to spend money on sneakers and maybe with this collaboration, those people might be coming, might be looking towards Tiffany whenever they want pieces of jewelry. And for Nike, it just, Nike has collaborated with many companies as you all know, um, if you're watching this, they have collaborated with a lot of brands and also luxury designer houses like Louis Vuitton and Dior. So it makes sense for them to want to collab as well. And of course, Nike loves a hyped up sneaker release. So in that sense, this collaboration is reaching both their target audiences. And as a New Yorker, it's the reason why I wanted a pair of these sneakers because they are very me. New Yorkers, I say this all the time, we're known for wearing black every day, all day, no matter what season or what the temperature is outside, we wear a lot of black. And so for me, these sneakers were totally up my alley, totally my aesthetic. That little swoosh of that Robin's Egg blue, that Tiffany blue that they're known for is for me, the perfect, most common way that I wear color. And the more that I looked at them, the more that I wanted them. I also was hearing from my sources that they were actually very good quality and looked really good. So I just kept wanting it more and more. So as I explained in that last video of how to buy the sneakers, I did all of those steps. I signed up, got the link to enroll and managed to get in uh, very quickly after it 
was up and submitted my credit card information and hoped for the best. And thankfully, I managed to get a pair. So the shopping experience was kind of smooth. Um, I didn't have any issues. There was no like, you know, loading and loading till until nothing happened. It was kind of quick. I clicked the link, submitted my information, and then got that notification saying that they had receive my information and would let me know if I was selected, was one of those random people selected to receive a pair. And actually on Sunday before, on the 5th, they said they were gonna send out notifications on the 6th. I got mine on the 5th saying that I did manage to get a pair. And then yesterday I got notification saying that it would be ready for pickup today on the 7th. So today I went went through security, showed my ID, showed my email confirmation outside of the pickup location, entered the store, again provided my confirmation and my ID to the sales associate and was given my set of sneakers. Now I'm laughing because there were people outside. My friend told me, you know, you should probably go with someone because you never know. There's probably going to be people outside trying to buy off of people like harassing. And I wasn't harassed, but there were definitely people out there who were like, do you have a size 13? Do you have a size 13? I'm like, no, these are for me. So they definitely had heightened security. There were a ton of security guys outside of that front door. And when you were given the sneakers, you were given a plain white shopping bag. And in that bag was the box with the sneakers and then a larger Tiffany & Co bag rolled up in there so that you at least had the bag to go with the sneakers. But I guess they provided the white shopping bag just to help you out you know, when you were leaving. Of course, it didn't work because anyone who was waiting outside knew that if you walked out with that white bag, that definitely meant that you got a pair of sneakers. But again, there was no big deal. And just one more thing to add today on the 7th was the release of the other pieces that were part of the collection. So this morning as I woke up, I realized, oh, today's the release. So I went on the website and when I checked about 8 a.m. this morning, the pieces were there. I added the Dubray to my cart because that is what I wanted. So the retail price of the Dubray was $250, which was steep, but I felt like I needed them. So I got them and with taxes, I wound up paying $273 or thereabouts. There was no local pickup available. You could only have it shipped to you. I did regular shipping because if you wanted it next day, it was an extra $20. I guess that's where I drew the line. I was like, you know what? I've given Tiffany enough of my money. I got the sneakers. I'm paying extra for these Dubrays. I don't need them the next day. Um, and then I did wind up getting an email later today saying that there were there was a back order to them. So I would have to wait even longer or longer than normal longer than usual to get the Dubrays. So I don't know when I'm gonna get them, but I will let you know as soon as I do um, on my Instagram stories. You know what? That's the perfect opportunity for me to introduce myself. If you are new here, welcome, bienvenidos. My name is Jessica Flores and I am a lifestyle content creator here on YouTube. I also have a blog, domesticatingme.com. I'm also on Instagram and on TikTok. I cover everything from fashion to beauty, luxury travel, DIY projects, home decor, you name it, I cover it all. So if any of those topics interest you, go ahead and click that subscribe button and click the little bell icon next to the subscribe button so you can set up your notifications on for all. I make new videos every week and if you have your notifications on, you won't miss a thing. All right, now let's get to the unboxing.
so here they are i gotta tell you i love them i think i made the right choice these are very very me i think that they are excellent quality really nice quality really beautiful new box soft leather here i dig them i do i think that they're perfect for my aesthetic um i think yeah, I think they're beautiful. Really great quality here. This was an interesting touch. They have the tongues are satin. Um, this tag here has Tiffany in silver debossed in it um, and sewn in. That's a nice little touch there. So let's cover some of the things that I do like really great quality very comfortable they're actually quite roomy too so if you are looking to buy these uh off a of resale site um definitely pick true to size or maybe even go half a size smaller i range between an eight and an eight and a half in women's i went to my local sneaker store and tried on air force ones just to make sure and the eight and a half were too roomy and the eight fit just right these are an eight and they feel roomy for me it's fine i like a roomy shoe anyway so these are definitely um, true to size or maybe half a size smaller depending on how you like your sneakers if you like them roomy or you like them really snug the price in my opinion not that bad they're not that bad um four hundred dollars i know a lot of people can think and you know it's it's a lot of money period but for collaboration collection pieces they're not that bad remember that nike partnered with louis vuitton and i know that those pieces were done in europe so it would make sense that those would be more expensive but those were in the thousands now let's also remember that nike collaborated with dior and those were also in the thousands now i love a collaboration collection i think that they're a great opportunity for people to try out designer luxury brands without having to pay the regular retail price for them so i have purchased many collaboration shoes in the past and luxury sneakers in particular so for what i'm used to paying for chanel sneakers dior sneakers i think these are not bad once again now let's talk about the things that i do not like about these sneakers i've been watching a lot of unboxing videos and looking at social media posts as you may have and they noted that this plaque is smaller on smaller size shoes. So if you have a larger foot, you get a larger plaque. If you have a smaller foot, a smaller size sneaker, you get a smaller plaque. Now to me, that sounds like a pink tax. Maybe not so much a pink tax, but definitely a small foot person tax. If I'm paying $400 for this and someone with, you know, shoes that are twice my size are getting a bigger piece, why are we both paying the same? not a fan of that not a fan of that like can i get can i get 50 bucks back can i get 25 back can i get some credit to pay for the dubre i don't like that i did not like that the other thing that really upset me about these sneakers is this little thing right here what is that what is that i'll tell you what it is it's a blank okay it's a piece of blank leather or why why are you giving us this like the people behind the sneaker, did they look at this design and think, you know what? We've given them enough. We've given them enough. We've, we've, this is too much. You know what? It's too much. This is too much for them. We're going to give them a blank. We're going to just give them a blank. You're telling me that you couldn't put something here? Like a little check in the Tiffany blue or the T's? You know, the two T's facing each other sideways. Have you seen the rings, the T rings? Like you couldn't do that with, I mean, even the silver, like from the Tiffany that like, just some, some you gave us a blank. You gave us a blank. We're paying $400 and you gave us a blank. Do not like that. And that is the reason why I wound up buying the Dubre. And in my personal opinion, the Dubre should have been part of this. I would have been fine. And I'm speaking for myself. I don't know about you. I would have... I would rather have paid a little bit more and had that Dubre included in this um, and it would have been worth it for me. I would have liked to have seen the anglet, the tip of the laces in silver. It's it's like a nice little, it feels like a little mellow, metal, like it's nice sturdy little tip, but I would have rather have had it in silver, in Tiffany silver. I would have been okay paying a little bit more, like $100 more 
I don't know. The Dewberries are 250 To me, that's, that's steep. But I would have paid another 100 maybe $200, maybe $200 more if it came with the silver Dewberry and the silver lace tips. But that's me. That was, oh, oh, it could have, something. Fine, don't give me the silver Dewberry. I'll pay for that out of pocket as an extra. But give me something, you know, debossed here. Give me a check. Give me two T's. Don't give me a blank. But that's what they did. And you know, maybe it was strategic. Maybe they knew that once we saw this blank, we'd be like, you know, something's missing. What's missing? You know what this needs? Another extra piece of silver? Fine. I'll go pull out my wallet to go get that extra piece of silver on my sneakers. And that's what I did. So it worked. Fine. Whatever. All right. And those are my honest opinions about these sneakers. Are they worth it? As I've said, it all depends on you, on your aesthetic, your style, your lifestyle, your budget and how often you would wear this. For me, price per wear, it totally pays off. I would wear these every day and I might wear these every day because they're black and go with everything and just have this little teal pop of color. I have the Tiffany & Co. Uh, Fendi collaboration, the mini, the nano baguette. So boom, I have an outfit already, all black with those with these two pieces, done. That's an outfit. So um, yeah, I'm gonna totally wear these a ton. So for me, they're definitely worth it. Now that you've seen them up close and in other people's hands and heard all of these opinions, what do you guys think? Are they worth $400? Did you like them? Do you like them more now? Do you like them even less now? Let me know. I definitely wanna hear your opinions. Click or tap right here to watch my last video or click down below to watch another video that you might enjoy. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned.